So, Ryan, a nice way to celebrate your Scotland call-up with a, a goal in your first game back? Yeah, um, and good to good to be in another final. Uh, you know, knowing it wasn't going to be an easy game the night, and um, I think we just got in, done a, a good job, and yeah, nice to, to come back after a few weeks out with a goal. It was a nice feeling. What's more pleasing for you? getting this call up or having us stop and asking you when you're going to get called up for Scotland? Uh, it's just, yeah, it's a nice feeling to be, uh, to be recognised again and, and um, you know, to get a chance to, to train with everyone and um, be around it. It's going to be a good, a good week and yeah, just looking forward to it. Uh, Isaac, how did you see that game play out? Because the, the early goal, it seemed to be, it felt, watching it, that was kind of game over. And I don't know if that was maybe how it kind of went down on the on the pitch a little bit, but they seemed to really come into it at the second half and you had to be really alert to, to keep them at bay. Yeah, I mean, and these games are always like that. Uh, they're never going to be easy, but um, we all stay focused throughout the whole game and thought we, we did a good job and we got the job done and just excited to get back into the finals and to hopefully bring home. Uh, Ryan, talk to us about the goal. Can you walk us through what you saw? Um, I think just uh, we changed up a wee bit. Um, Sam brought the ball inside, obviously ended up as the the nine, and um, we had a good. Uh, I think we lost the ball, but we we pressed we pressed really well. Um, you know, after losing it, and I can't remember who shot, but. Thankfully, the, the goalies just palmed it out, and it was quite an easy wee tap in. So, uh, not too much, not too much to it. Talk to us about what it means to be headed back to the final. There's only one other team that's, that's won three in a row. Um, what does that mean for you? What does that mean for you guys as a club? Yeah, it'd be huge for for everyone. Uh, I always say, you know, the, we all play football to to win and to win trophies. So, to get back into another final and the chance to to do it again would be would be really good and. You know the luck of the draw again. We're we're at home, and um, you know hopefully we can, yeah, do do three in a row in front of the fans. Isaac, another clean sheet. What what does that do for your confidence heading into the final part of the season here? Yeah, it's big for my confidence. I mean, it's always next game, next game. So, I mean, I'll celebrate having it tonight, but then uh, tomorrow's a new day, and looking forward to the next game just to help do my job and to help uh, help the team. And you didn't get tested a whole lot in the first half, but they came on in the second. Where does your mind uh, shift at all heading into the second half? Do you know that they're going to come on in a different way? Or uh, did you, any sort of like pep talk you had with yourself at halftime? Mm -hmm. I mean, the first half, they had three opportunities where they could have done something from our own mistakes. So I had to stay alert, I felt, uh, during those. So those at moments actually helped me stay focused. Um, but, I mean, second half, we knew that they would try to push. They needed two goals, so um, just staying focused uh, the whole way through and uh, persevering through that. Ryan, if we can go back to Scotland for just a wee second, how did you find out and uh, when did you find out about your call-up? Uh, I found out just during the night. Uh, obviously, the, the squad was announced um, like midday there, so it was during our night here and kind of just I knew obviously this when the squad was being announced so just kind of uh, woke up in the middle of the night and checked my phone and I was like okay there we go call up and <laughs> back to bed <laughs> that was pretty much it what does it mean to you to have the support from Scottish fans all over the world they wanted to see you get called up they're really proud to see your name on the roster yeah I appreciate the the support and um you know the the recognition from everyone back home that um, you know that feels that I should be um, in the squad. So hopefully I can just go in and um, all I can do now is try and show that you know I, I uh, should be back again, and um, it's just going to be a a good week to to experience. What's your thoughts on the matchup against TFC in next month? Obviously, uh, you thrashed them four nil earlier this year in Vancouver. Yeah, but I think they're a, they're a different team um, from when we played them. Uh, they'll have... Uh, I, I don't think Insignia played that game. 
uh, Richie wasn't with him at the time, so I think they'll be a, in a better place and uh, more experienced as well. So I'm ex we're all going to be expecting a, a tougher game than when they came here earlier in the season, but um, it's also nice to have that you know in the, in the back of our heads that the last couple of times we've played them, we've got a good result. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the game? On tonight's game? Oh, the TFC game. Uh, it's a new game. We'll be ready for it. Uh, they're going to come up flying, so we just have to be ready, uh, stay focused for that game. Um, it's obviously going to be a completely different game than what it was a few months ago when we beat them. But, uh, yeah, they have good players, so, I mean, you never know what can, uh, can happen in these games, so we'll just be ready for it. Uh, Brian. Uh, we saw early in the game Brian White go down in some really nervy moments. Just what were those first few moments for you guys like? Because it seemed pretty urgent out there. And have you talked to him since uh, the game's been over? The, the moments with Brian? Yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit scary. Obviously, me and Sam were, were right there when it when it happened. So it was a bit uh, a bit scary. But I think he's uh, I think he's doing all right, and um, he'll just need to rest up now and um, you know take care of himself and. Uh, you know, he was. I seen him. I seen him at half time going through his tests, and he was. He was thankfully looking a lot better. So, um, he, yeah, he'll just rest up, and um, you know, he'll be back when he's when he's feeling good. Guys, you, you're going into a, now the basically the home stretch, big game on the weekend against Austin, and you know, with the fact that you had sort of a near three week break, can you maybe speak to the thought process of of how you want to approach this? This kind of run in, um, um, and 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 what you've got a real great opportunity to be able to achieve, particularly with the fact that the majority of the games you've got left in the regular season are here at BC Place. Yeah, there's a lot a lot of big games coming up against against teams that are round about us, and you know we keep wanting to look up and say that the top four is where where we want to be, but we know at the same time that if we slip up at all, there's a lot of teams not too far behind us, so we'll be. We need to be switched on, and it's nice to have the the home games. And our home form's not been as good as it as it should be this year. Uh, actually, our away form's been been really good. But um, you know, hopefully, we we pick that up in the in the last stretch and put ourselves in a good position for the playoffs. Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much what he said. But we have ten games left. Austin's the first one, so I mean, one game at a time. Uh, I mean, let's just. Hope we can go into Austin, get three points, and then that will set us up really well for uh, the remaining games.